What up, fam? It's your boy Speaks, and I'm back in effect with an episode of Gamer Time on Nikki6.com. <laughs> Tales of Zestiria is another entry in Bandai Namco's long running Tales series. If you're not up on Tales, you really should be. These games have been coming out since 1995, and it's really interesting to see how far the series has come over the last 20 years. First off, I love when games let you pick between the English and Japanese dialogue. I immediately opted for the subtitled experience because I've been about that life. The Tales games feature a real-time battle system which is slightly tweaked in each title. The biggest change in Tales of Zestiria is the rechargeable SC bar. SC, kind of like magic points in other games, is what lets you use spells and attacks, known as arts. Instead of having to use healing items to restore them, you just stop attacking for a bit and they regenerate. This encourages you to use your special moves a lot more than in the other games in the series. I remember hardly using advanced moves when playing games like Tales of Vesperia or Tales of Exilia because I wanted to save the skill points for bosses. In Tales of Zestiria, every fight has a chance to show off some flashy combos. The Tales games have an art style and charm all their own which is fully realized in Zestiria's anime inspired graphics. The world is vibrant and a pleasure to traverse. Battles still take you to another screen in typical JRPG fashion, but instead of a new battlefield that sort of looks like where you were, it renders your exact surroundings in the ensuing fight. It's a great touch that adds to the immersion factor. While Tales of Zestiria serves as an example of the things we love about Japanese role-playing games, it doesn't free itself from the cliches that have bogged down the genre for what feels like forever. The game tells the story of a human boy who doesn't know where he came from. He meets a girl, that causes him to go on a journey, he inspires people to join his cause, and he beats up all the bad guys because he's the most special guy in the world. Oh, and he's also an idiot. Seen that story before? Tales of Zestiria doesn't do much to push the boundaries of JRPG storytelling, but once you get past the first 10 hours or so, things start to pick up steam and you can't help but care about the characters. The system of grinding is interesting as it focuses on leveling up and combining equipment to find new skills while your character gains experience, so every battle feels like it has a purpose. The battles are quick, the combos are fluid, and the arts when you combine with your party members are spectacular. This game won't revolutionize JRPGs, but if you're a fan of the genre, haven't played one in a while, or are kinda curious about them, then I definitely recommend Tales of Zestiria. If you've played a lot of these kind of games and think the genre needs a shakeup, then this probably isn't for you. Here's some uninterrupted gameplay. I'm 